Hey y'all, good morning. I want to pop on here and talk about um, toxic relationships. How you know that you're in a toxic relationship? And I wrote down this stuff so I wouldn't forget some of it. And you might know some uh, more toxic trait, toxic traits too as well. So I'm gonna start by um, saying, um, if y'all fighting and he hits you or you hitting him. Uh, especially if it's to uh, show off for people. Uh, that's how you know it's a toxic relationship. Uh, if you're moving out every couple of weeks or every couple of months and uh, the furniture and stuff is getting bad or messed up uh, because of it, it's wearing out because you're moving in and moving out. Um, if your furniture is being thrown, uh, wrecked in the midst of you fighting, then you know you're in a toxic relationship. A big one is um, if you want him or her dead. If you want them to die so you won't have to mess with them no more because you can't stop messing with them, then that means you're in a toxic relationship. Um, if you are jealous of everyone he or she loves because they love them more than you and you feel like he don't love you or she don't love you as much as she loves everybody else or she doesn't or he doesn't uh, treat you the same way and show respect like he does or she does other people. I'm going to just say they. Okay? So um, if your fights is so bad that you think you're going to die or you're going to kill that person, um, and if you're fighting in front of your kids, that is a toxic relationship, okay? And every time you get back with them after breaking up with them, you're crying. Like your life is, is gone. Like you're saying, oh, my God, I can't believe I should have never came back. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Why do I keep coming back? And if you're blaming that person for you coming back um, or are you blaming them for keep messing with you like or or dealing with you when they know that they don't have no kind of good intentions you can't blame nobody else for something that you can't stop doing so that's how you know everything is toxic um and if another way you can tell that it's toxic if you are fighting and going crazy and you have to have a neighbor or some stranger help you Maybe you're out in traffic and y'all fighting in the car and somebody get put out or whatever. And, and a neighbor has to tell you or, or help you jump in because they think they beat you up or something like that or whatever. Um, that's a real toxic relationship. You know, I have to say this because I've been in them. And that's how I know. So I'm not judging nobody for being in no toxic relationship. I've been both. I've been abused and abusing. <laughs> before so i'm telling y'all now that it's not gonna work out and it's scary and um i know that you love that person because you think that that person uh should be the person that's abusing you you think that that person has went through a lot of stuff and you kind of got uh a guilt and you feel sorry for them because you know what they went through. But they need to see a psychiatrist. You cannot heal them. They have to heal their self. You cannot heal nobody until you heal yourself. And then you, while you're going through it, you have to ask yourself why you're going through it. And talk to yourself or talk to somebody and try to help yourself. Um, and realize that you are worthy. You are important. And that people do love you. Even an abuser may love you. But you have to end that relationship. Um, a lot of people call it narcissism. But it's just, our community is just a lot of bad things going on. Growing up, you see a lot of stuff and, and nobody has dealt with a trauma in the past. And this is the reason why you have to end the relationship. And even if you don't end it because you can't. Because you know you're going to keep going back, going back, 
just stay in it until you get totally tired where you know for sure that you don't care what goes on with that man. You don't want to have intercourse. You One day you're going to wake up like I did and say, I don't want to be in this relationship and vanish. Where you, you don't talk to them or listen to them. You, you see a text and you don't have to answer. Nothing that they say get under your skin. There's a song that's called um, uh, Say It's Me, Say It's My Fault. Say I'm a liar, a cheater, say anything that you want as long as it's over. And that's what you need to feel, okay? Once you feel like that, like I don't care what you say, I don't care how you trying to paint me as a picture, I don't I don't have no response for it. Once you feel like that, then you can move on. Don't leave until you do not care what that person says, think what that person is doing. You don't care about them sexually. You don't have no kind of attraction to them. Wait until that point before you move out because you're not going to never uh, move on until you get over that person. Take that person. And when you just start erasing pictures and stuff, you don't have to go back looking at pictures or nothing. You don't show. You don't even talk about them. When you when you over somebody, you don't even talk about that person. No more. If that person is the topic of your discussion every time, good or bad, then you're not over that person talk about them all the time you know baby daddy this baby daddy that all this and and even if you got kids you know you're not gonna even care if he comes and take care of the kid yeah the baby crying or whatever that baby gonna get over that okay just like you have to you know so you'll know that you over that person when you stop talking about that person you know and if you if you really know that y'all have love and and whatever, y'all need to see a psychiatrist right away to stop all that fighting. And even if it ain't fighting, it might be just cussing and verbal abuse. I hate you. You ain't shit and all this. And just you just saying all the stuff that's the worst. And you know what get under their skin and you digging at that person. If you digging at that person every time you get in an argument, you, you don't, you're not pouring into them. You're not treating them good. You're not, you're not a good person inside. And it's not because that you're not a good person, really. It's just that you just hate for somebody to say something about you, too. Because a person that loves someone, even if that person talks about you, you just don't have to say nothing. Silence is key, especially for women. Women, we'll go crazy. We'll say so much bad stuff out of our mouth because we're emotional. Um. And, and really, it's silence. When you get mad at that man or something, don't say nothing because our strength is silence because we talk so damn much, okay? We talk so much. And then um, the man's strength is self-control, how he moving, how he acting. And, and you don't want to be acting like no female, uh, beating her up and stuff like that because you can't control nobody. If you got to do that, you you don't need no female. If you got to beat on a woman, you do not need a female until you get over that. Because we know that you ain't going to beat on no man. And and you ain't going to be tough like that if a a man is on you. So um, I just think that that's not a good thing. And like I said, I'm not judging you because I done been in it all. But I will say this. It's it's a better way. If you can't do it for you, do it for your kids. And if you don't got no kids, if you... If you can't do it for the kids, then do it for yourself and do it for that person that you love. They always say, if you love somebody, you love them enough to let them go. And a lot of people are so, you know, we we from the hood or whatever, the people that are, but some of y'all not. Um, We just like, we so uh, possession crazy, like. Because we didn't have nothing. So when we have something that we want or whatever, and it's finally ours that we think is ours, we try to hold on to it as hard as possible. No matter how bad it is, how we we got something. We got a man. We don't got no um house. We don't got no money. But we got a man. and some or Or, or we got a woman, you know. That we can call our own, and, and a lot of stuff was taken taken from us, and we couldn't get stuff as easy as most people. So, you know, 
you can find a way out of that. And I'm telling you, there is a way out of it. You just got to work a little harder and you will get it. <laughs> you will get it. You just got to believe that and be positive. You think about hitting somebody, you just go home and you just, I'm not going to do this today. Go sit out on the yard, have your beer. If you don't want to have, if you think the liquor is the problem, go to AAA. And you got to say something to yourself, though. You still need counseling, no matter if you're going to AAA. Counseling it too. You need self-improvement. And money usually is the base of most problems. So make sure you guys are both equally um, trying to get the money up. Some some men are not strong enough to do all the work. So you have to work with them. As long as they're doing stuff to help you in the house and they just not. I promise you, if you got somebody in your house that's not doing nothing, woman or man, you're going to be okay. you only known them for years, a year two years, three years, five years, 10 years, 10 years, five years, three years, two years ago, you didn't know that person. How was you? It was just fine, right? Okay, then. If you got somebody in your house, not because you say, but you know for sure in your heart and everybody around you is telling you that that person is no good for you and they not doing nothing in that house for you, you're going to find better. You're going to find better. And I'm telling y'all, on this station, there's a lot of good women and good men on this station. So y'all y'all need to just be commenting and stuff like that. And one day, I'm going to have a, a dating service. And I'm going to hook people up. I, I'm, we're going to do an interview on these men and on these women. And we're going to do matchmaking. So y'all be ready for that. Once I get monetized and everybody starts seeing this and I start making a little bit of bread, I'm going to hook people up because I believe I'm good at matchmaking. If Anybody didn't know, I, I used to be a nail tech. So um, I talk to a lot of women, and I know what the problem is. And I know how to help them. And I know how to pick good men, you know. The only thing is, is that we have an idea. A lot of women have an idea that a man is going to be a perfect man. Nobody is perfect. No man that i ever been with was perfect, and I haven't been either. No, I haven't cheated. You know, but I haven't been perfect. I was explaining to my, my guy that how imperfect I was in a relationship. And then I'm working on it with this one. You know, and he got imperfections as well. And nobody is perfect, but you got to be willing to, to work on them imperfections. And you got to be willing to, to say what your imperfections are and face them. You know that you have an addiction to something or, or you, you, can't live without something or something, just say it. And if it's too bad where it's going to cause a riff in a the relationship, then you shouldn't be dating until you fix that. You cannot date nobody if you are doing a single stuff. So why even be in a relationship if you are doing single stuff and you can't stop doing the single stuff, then don't be in a relationship. That's simple. It's greed. One thing that kills black people a lot is greed and lust. That is the main thing that kills us, our black community, is greed and lust. And once we can conquer this, we can conquer a lot of stuff. And we can be a union and we can build trust because it's, it's a me thing instead of a we thing. We need to all work on that. You know, when you go to your girlfriend's gathering or your guy's gathering, don't be doing nothing to to make the women look at you with your money because that's what men use for money. You know, be respectful. And women, when you go to your women's gathering, be covered up. Cleavage shouldn't be showing. Thighs shouldn't be showing. None of that should be showing. And you shouldn't have no extra skin-tight clothes on. It's just about respect, y'all. And once y'all can do that, you know, you'll, you'll be able to see that you'll have more uh, positive big dogs people that's really taking care of business and really respectful in your life, you know? And some people are scared to be called insecure. Who cares? Scared of being called insecure is, is crazy to me. You, you scared because you're unsure. Insecure just means unsure. And if you're unsure about people, then that's fine. 
You don't have to be sure. Guess what? They don't have to be in your life, so you don't have to care about what they think. So if you say if you see a female and they come to your house and they got something on, and you just call it out, hey, I don't let that kind of stuff come in my house. You gotta be covered. I can give you a shirt. Otherwise, you can't be in here. Just simple as that. You don't care what they say. You don't care what they're gonna tell people because you you just don't you shouldn't care about nothing but your household and what you're doing in your household. Okay, I hope I helped y'all. I got to get out of here. I got stuff to do today. Um, but I appreciate y'all for watching the channel. Please like and subscribe and tell everybody, everybody, oh, you know my words get messed up. Everybody about this channel, y'all. You know, like I said before, I only need a couple of more uh, views on my long videos before I get monetized. Um, but I appreciate y'all. Keep sharing. Y'all been sharing a lot lately. I must be saying some good stuff, honey. And men, I love that y'all comment. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because it let me know that you can watch a female that's not showing nothing and ain't trying to seduce you. You know, this is the first step to you being with one woman by just watching me and, and I'm not showing nothing. Got to get used to that. That's got to be your new norm right now. Okay. All right. Love y'all. I appreciate y'all and see y'all next time.